This next chapter covers installation and setup of key components so your Guava Muse flow cytometer is ready to operate. First, fill your fluid bottles. Add 10 milliliters of 100% bleach to the waste bottle. This can be identified with the waste and hazardous red icon. Place into the receptacle with the matching icon. Next, add instrument cleaning fluid to the top of the bottle with the blue wash icon. Place gently into the receptacle with the matching icon and press down gently to seat. Next, install the bottle connector tubing. The tubing is color-coded to match the bottle icon. Blue tubing is for the cleaning fluid bottle and red is for the waste bottle. Finger tighten the tubing or use the tightening tool as necessary. Now it is time to install your flow cell. Remove the flow cell from the shipping box. Carefully remove the flow cell from its packaging. Holding as close to the green connector as possible, identify the glass capillary and lens area. It is important not to touch or allow fluid on the lens portion. Open the hatch on top of the instrument and locate the flow cell chamber. Press down on the left edge of the clamp. The forked side will pop up automatically. This is where you will install the flow cell. Carefully lower the flow cell into the receptacle, aligning the cutouts. If you feel any resistance, the flow cell is not aligned properly in the receptacle and you will need to remove the flow cell and reinsert. When the flow cell is seated properly, close the clamp to secure the flow cell in place. Now connect the flow cell tubing to the fitting next to the flow cell chamber. Securely tighten with your fingers or use the tightening tool as necessary. Now the fluid bottles and flow cell are installed. You are ready to switch your instrument on. Connect the Muse to its power source by plugging the cord securely into the back socket.